Democrats tonight, they're not even trying to hide their dangerous open borders agenda as Congresswoman, the real Speaker of the House, uh, Ocasio-Cortez and dozens of other House Democrats, they are coming out against the deportation of illegal immigrant gang members. You heard me right, claiming in a new letter that an ICE enforcement memo, quote, invites racial profiling because the agency is making it a removal priority to deport those who have been convicted of actively or intentionally participating in gang activity. That would sound like common sense. Seriously, Democrats now coming out in defense of violent criminals instead of supporting law and order and the safety and security of the American people? How exactly would stopping deportations of violent gang members help public safety, protect the most vulnerable? What will people do? Remember, border security, it's about safety. Border security is about national security. And we face a whole host of threats when our borders aren't secure, our sovereignty and our laws are not respected. For example, we are learning that House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy has been briefed on a classified memo about terror suspects caught at the U.S.-Mexico border last year. He told Fox News he's, quote, even more concerned for America's security than he ever was before. What's it going to take for Democrats to take the border crisis seriously? And what will it take for Democrats to be honest with the American people instead of substituting political theater for real solutions on nearly every issue? Immigration, reckless spending, amplifying lies about voting laws, playing the race card, and so much more. All with the approval of woke corporate America. Thankfully, conservatives, they are fighting back. One group taking on these far-left corporations with ads like this. Take a look. American Airlines rated the worst, losing the most bags, shrinking legroom during COVID. American requires passengers to show ID to fly, but attacks Texas's popular voter ID law. Why is CEO Doug Parker trying to appease the radical left? Yeah, Joe's state of Delaware he represented them 5,820 years they have voter ID. Yeah. Of course, don't expect any serious or critical coverage from the mob and the media on any of this. As we're now learning tonight, they might be scared of ending up on Kamala Harris's bad list. A new report in The Atlantic uncovering that Harris actually keeps tabs on journalists who she suspects may not, quote, understand her or appreciate her life experience. Wonder where I end up on the list. Wow. Can you imagine if Donald Trump did that? Here with reaction. South Carolina uh, Senator Lindsey Graham. Senator, your, re your reaction, first of all, to all of that. Well, there's a lot to unpack. Let's start with the border. We're inviting a terrorist attack on our country on the 20th anniversary of 9-11 by losing control of the border. How hard is it for a terrorist organization to figure out that you can put terrorists in this flow of illegal immigrants crossing our border? We're equivocating on standing with Israel. I will be in Charleston, South Carolina tomorrow night rallying Christians and the Israeli community and freedom-loving South Carolinians to stand with Israel. Two things I'm certain of. Hamas would kill every Israeli if they could. The only reason they're not is because Israel can defend itself. And Israel could kill tens of thousands of Palestinians if they wanted to. They don't. They want to live in peace. They want to live in security. So to my Democratic colleagues who are pushing Israel to stop attacking Hamas, degrading Hamas, you're wrong. Israel, if you're listening, do what you need to do to protect yourself. If this war needs to continue, you continue it. We have your back. Don't stop until you get every Hamas terrorist you Amen. can. And yes, they take great, Amen. they take great concern in protecting innocent life, but Hamas, they fired their missiles from, oh, schools and hospitals, yeah. and uh, yeah. they, if anyone dies, innocent people, collateral damage, as we say, that would be on them. They're the ones firing thousands of rockets into Israel. Let me go back to the border. 90% of our heroin, 90% yeah. of fentanyl in this country. The opioid crisis, killing 300 plus Americans a week. It crosses that border. Now we're going to have people on the left defending gang members from deportation. I think between that and, and California, New York, and New Jersey giving checks to illegal immigrants, I think I've about heard it all. We've done everything but 
take an ad out in the paper, come to America. We're stopping deportations. They're basically put ice out of business. Joe Biden's overwhelmed by the job of being president. The left has lost its mind. There's more fentanyl across the border this time in 2021 and all of 2020. Israel is under the gun. 3,500 rockets. Where is it coming from? Iran. To the Biden administration, you would be insane to start negotiating with Iran as long as they're still the largest state sponsor of terrorism. So I am very worried about our national security. I'm very worried about our border here at home. 2022 is gonna be a hell of an election. If you're a conservative person and you don't vote in 2022, you have nobody to blame but yourself. I miss Donald Trump. None of this would have happened if President Trump were being pre was president today. I hope he's considering running. Let's start a draft Trump movement. He's the one guy I think can go to the American people and say, let me finish what I started, what I did worked. I like focus on the agenda. His agenda work, conservatism yes. works. Anytime those policies yes. are implemented, it works. And I think Putin, Kim Jong-un, the mullahs in Iran, and Xi in China, they feared Trump. They don't fear this guy, Lindsay. You got it, my friend. They, they're cleaning our clock. And when Trump was on, was president of the United States, there was a different attitude the world had toward the United States. And I miss that attitude. We're weaker today than we've been since Jimmy Carter. Lindsey Graham, thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.